Hello, I'm B.J. Arnett, and this is This Day with B.J. Arnett. Thank you so much for joining us. Well, I've got a young lady with me today that I, I know you want to always hear about the great things that God is doing and the great things that people are doing in the community. And sometimes great misses us. Sometimes we don't m really understand the greatness in the small things. We don't see the greatness in the continuing. We don't see the greatness in raising our children. We just think this is what we do. But there's greatness in everything that we do. And it's about time that we take hold of the fact that we are great because we are made by a gracious God and we are loved through his gracious son. So I'd like you to join me as I welcome Tamika Reed. I thank you so much for being here with us. I know you have a powerful testimony and yes. it's powerful because not of what you went through, right. but because of where you stand now. Yes. It is powerful because you came through without smelling like smoke. And that yes. is because you understood yes. how you were supposed to live this life. Yes. So Absolutely. talk to us about your testimony and what you've seen happen in your life and how you've been able to step through. Well, after dealing with the loss of loved ones, people were telling me your story needs to be told, share your story. And I never wanted to share my story because I felt like it was too personal and too emotional. But when I realized that it can help someone else, I said, you know what, let me go ahead and write this book. Mm -hmm. And so I'm glad that I did because not only has the book been therapeutic for me, it also has helped others. And that's my goal. I just want people to know, no matter what you go through in life, don't give up. Don't Keep give up, you. don't stop. That's you, right. You know, the, the beautiful thing about what you've done is that, mm -hmm. and, and you just said it, it was therapeutic for you. When yes. you write it, I would imagine that as you're writing, you're releasing even more of the physical and emotional right. pain of losing loved ones. Because it's, it's, it's not something that you just get over. Mm -hmm. It's something that you have to decide That's right. to be over. That's right. So as you wrote the book and the pages were being filled with what actually happened, did you immediately see that you were being healed in the process? No, because I was still going through the struggles of being a single mom mm -hmm. and dealing with the obstacles and the setbacks. Mm -hmm. So that kind of like gave me some comfort a little bit just to write something down. But I never imagined writing a book. That's the thing. That, never. that wasn't in your plan. It was never in my plan to write a book. And I tell people all the time, it was God's plan. Let's roll plan. back to mm -hmm. your testimony okay. and what happened and what brought you to writing the book. Okay, so after the loss of my first daughter's father, I had to identify his body in my stairwell in a pool of blood. Mm. Two weeks prior, we were robbed at gunpoint. A year later, I lost my mom. A few years after that, I lost my second daughter's father. And when I got the phone call that he didn't make it, I almost crashed my vehicle because I blacked out like, God, not again, you mm -hmm, know? Mm -hmm. But my youngest daughter, she screamed so loud, it brought me back to reality before I can do any harm to any of us. And I always tell people that was nobody but God saving us that day, you know? And so a few years after that, I lost my grandmother. I also lost my sister at a young age. And so dealing with the loss of loved ones has been oh, very hard. Very, very hard. You are, so, mm -hmm. you found you are very connected to your family. Yes. And to all of those people that, you know, like in, in the neighborhood, we say this right. is auntie so-and-so, yes. auntie so-and-so. Yes. Those people are dear to us. Mm -hmm. So when we, when we lose someone within our family and in our extended family, right. it does affect you. It does. But then you get to this place where you realize, <laughs> because not one person, not two, but many people kept coming to you saying, you need to write your story. Yes. You need to tell this. Yes. At the yes. point that they were doing that, I know you just really wanted to sit down and write a book. <laughs> yes, and then I had a confirmation from my oldest daughter, aunt. She called me and she said, the spirit is telling me to tell you to write. And I'm like, what? <laughs> You're a writer, right? That's yes. Right. Yeah, and see, right. I, love, I love writing. I used to write songs and poems, but never did anything with it. Never. And it, it is amazing that out mm -hmm. of these tragedies, you would be yes. pressed yes. to write something that not only helps you, but helps someone else. Absolutely. I want to take a look at this little book for the children. You, yes. Now this, it, <laughs> you've got to tell me about Nicole and the Shining Star. Did yes. I say that correct? Yes, you said it right. Okay. All right. Nicole <laughs> and the Shining Star. Yes. It's precious. Mm -hmm. All of these stories and all of this particular story, this shining star, Nicole, yes. talk to us about this book and, and why you had to start with the children's. This is so sweet. Thank you so much. So with the children's book, my youngest daughter mm -hmm. used to run to the window 
and say, Mommy, Daddy. And I'm like, okay, you know, to myself, like, okay, he's deceased. What is she? And she was scaring me. Right. And I'm like, what's going on? Mm -hmm. And so I would look at the window and I would see these stars. And I'm like, oh my gosh. And all of a sudden, I just started writing. I was writing my memoir. And I pushed the memoir to the side and I started writing the children's story. It's like it was already in my head. I just needed to this let it out. This is from her eyes. Yes. As to what she saw when yes. she looked out the window. The stars made her happy, and yes. she knew her daddy made her happy. So that was That's her right. connect. Yes. Yes. And, absolutely. And it's so beautifully mm -hmm. uh, done, and it's so Thank you. you know, it just looks like a child would just love to pick it up and get get a part of it. Yes. This is just the sweetness. Yes and a way to explain mm -hmm. how her daddy passed yes. and how he still loves her no matter. And that book helped them because I read the story to them first. Mm -hmm. And I said, you know what? They seem interested. So I'm going to go ahead and write a book mm -hmm. to help another child cope with the loss of a loved one. And, and you know, it's not unusual to turn on the television today and hear of another African-American father right. killed. Yes. Uh, another death of a parent, another death, and right now, it seems like every news cycle, we're talking about someone who's passed away, violently or not. Yes. But it is a reality of living. There is going to be a death. Yes. But it's how Absolutely. you live out that life, mm -hmm. what you believe that makes your life different, right. that shifts people. As you put your memoir aside, you began to minister to these babies yes. who needed to have their resolve. That's right. And this story helped them. That's right. And then you get back to Beyond the Tears I've Cried, Here I Am. Yes. Still Standing, a yes. memoir by Tamika Y. Reed. Yes. <laughs> Tell me what this story has done for you as you've been able to put put it to the pages. I understand mm -hmm. it, it brought you to a place of healing, mm -hmm. but there's something more than just healing that occurs when you publish, when you tell the story. It made me feel so good. It made me feel so good, because I was able to let it out, mm -hmm. you know? And the fact that I will not be the first or the last that's gonna go through the losses and the struggles of being a single mom, I won't be the last. So I know there's someone else out there that needs to hear that story so they can push through. As you've gone around to tell people about the book mm -hmm. and you've had the opportunity to just share some of the pages and the stories, what have women and men said to you about your testimony, this book, Beyond the Tears, I've Cried, Here I Am? How are you here still standing? <laughs> the simplicity <laughs> of, yes. this was a lot. This is, yes. this is much. Yes, how are you here? And that's how I came up with the title, because people will often ask me that question. How are you here still standing? And I always say it's because of God and my daughters. It's a responsibility to raise any child. Yes. But a mother raising her daughters, there's this um, part of you mm -hmm. that you know they're going to turn into, not babies anymore, they're going right. to become young women. Yes. And they're going to begin to see realities that are not so pretty yes. because they their eyes are open to things that are happening in the nation and in the world. That's right. And there are concerns as a single mother of taking care of your girls. Mm -hmm. Have you been able to impart to them as you've gone through this journey the things that will strengthen them, the things that will help them walk along their own journey to be not just warriors for Christ Jesus, but right. victorious for Christ Jesus? Right. Just letting them know, never give up. So no matter how tough it get, just hold on to your faith and keep on pushing. You know, one mm -hmm. of the things I love about being a mom is that mm -hmm. sometimes when we're going through stuff, we'll see our children come to us knowing yes. that we're going through something. Yes. And they kind of, kind of, you know, oh, mommy, it's okay. They kind of console you. Yes. What did you see in your children as you knew you were going through some things, but, you know, you're a mom, you got to hold it together. Right. Did you see them come to you in that manner? Yes, my youngest. So every time I would sit looking depressed, she would come and do something funny. And I would say, oh, thank you, God. It's my blessing right here, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. because it just knocked me out of the sadness by her doing something funny. You do know. you see yourself uh, writing more books and oh, doing absolutely. more public speaking and all of that? Yes, absolutely. So what do you think is going to be your big next step? Um, writing another book. 
writing another book and just getting it out there, trying to connect with people because I do want my memoir to become a movie. Mm -hmm. So I'm just trying to network and get myself out there. The stories that you tell, uh, mm -hmm. Nicole and the, and the Shining Star, and then your book, Beyond the Tears, and both of them are your books, but they, yes. they're very personal in different ways. Yes. Beyond the Tears, I've Cried, Here I Am. As you go to the next page, go to the next book, is the next book going to be one that continues the story of how you're standing, or one that talks about the resilience of one who stands? It will continue the story, so it will be a sequel. Really? Because even after the book, with my move here mm -hmm. from New York, mm -hmm. it's been a struggle. Why did now, I, you know, and I always ask this of people who move from New York to mm -hmm. Atlanta, mm -hmm. why Atlanta and why did you feel that this was the time? I needed the peace. After the going, change? Yes. Mm -hmm. The peace that I needed, the change after going through so much back home. I said, you know what? It's time for a change. And New I start. just took a leap of faith and left New York. Yes. There's something to be said for allowing yourself to be pushed that way mm -hmm. and to take that leap of faith with two baby girls. Yes. There's nothing like, you know, turning to your babies and seeing them looking at you and we're leaving <laughs> the place that we understand. We're leaving yes. what is comfortable to us. But it is something that many times has to be done so yes. that that new page of your story can be written. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for just sharing that with us because I think it's important that we understand that we don't have to stay where we were, no. where the pain mm -hmm. is in our face. Right. We can actually step away. That's right. Start anew. That's right. Start fresh. That's right. And continue to tell the story. Absolutely. Absolutely. The books are Nicole and the Shining Star. Yes. Nicole Lee and, yes. and the Shining Star. <laughs> and then, of course, Beyond the Tears, I've Cried, Here I Am, Still, Still Standing, yes. a memoir, and part two is on the way. Yes. And, of course, this, as, as you would say, the sequel, because mm -hmm. she's already speaking life into that film, right? Absolutely. <laughs> That's Absolutely. the way to do it. Yes. Are you yes. speaking in schools and going around and, and speaking and talking to, in different organizations? Can people mm -hmm. get in touch with you for that? Well, they can. Um, if they Google author Tamika Reed, my information will come up. Mm -hmm. I have links on my Facebook pages, author Tamika Reed I on was my chasing. Facebook. Mm -hmm. Author and Tamika Reed yes, on Facebook. On Facebook. Isn't Facebook yes. wonderful? All social media <laughs> is just, you know, the way to connect these yes, days. Absolutely. And to connect with the right stories That's right. is even better. That's right. That's right. So ready to speak to you, ready to tell the story, ready to give the testimony, and to help someone be able to get through the transition of losing someone that you love. If you're in that place, Tamika Reed may be the person that can help you get through it because there's a testimony that she walked through, and she walked through it. She didn't stay in it. I know you've had an opportunity to write down some information, but don't forget it is author Tamika Reed on Facebook. And don't forget that every story that is told is a story that is authentic to the one telling it. Your story may be different. It doesn't mean it's less powerful. It means that it's your story and it's your responsibility to tell it, okay? Tamika Reed, thank you so much for being thank here. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. <laughs> Two books and the third on the way. God yes. bless you. Have a wonderful rest of your day. We look forward to seeing you again because right now is a time for the story to be told and the story could be yours. Don't miss your opportunity. I know someone is sitting there saying, I don't know what to do. I got a hint for you. It's called a pen and a piece of paper. Yes. Just start. Just start and don't let anybody tell you that you can't. Those naysayers are dismissed, okay? School is out. It's time for real folk to step up in it. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.